Hello all you wonderful people again. So this time I've come a little bit closer to home. I'm here at Delamere Forest. Now this is the first time I've ever wild camped here and it's also the first time I've ever used a hammock. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be using my new bit of kit, the DD Frontline XL hammock and the DD XL tarp. So let's get everything packed up and head off and find somewhere to actually camp. I haven't found anywhere yet, so I've got my trusty OS map. Let's work out what we're doing. I'm all packed up, ready for my little solar adventure. I've got with me my OS map to find the way, so I don't actually know where I'm going to be sleeping yet. But this is a this is a handy little map. This. So my OS Explorer map, Northwich and Delamere Forest. I was actually given this by a scout leader. Very kind of him to to offer me this. And as much as we use satellite navigation these days. I still think this is the best way to go. Map and compass, you can't go wrong. Has everything you need in here. It's the one to 25,000 scale. So much information, it's perfect. So let's, uh, let's find a, a place to camp. One thing you'll notice is coat, hat, scarf, the lot. For the first time in ages, I've had to put all this on. Uh, as you can see, it's raining. The temperature's dropped a bit. I love walking in this, but it's getting heavier, so I think I need to find shelter a bit sooner than I originally planned. But yeah, as you can see, full kit. What's going on? It's August. Sort it out, weather. Okay, it's really coming down now. So much so that the hood's come out. The waterproof cover's come out. The waterproof trousers have come out. But will it stop me? Hell no. If anything, it just makes me want to do it more. Why not? It's just a bit of rain. Let's keep pushing on. So the rain has eased off a bit, which I'm pleased about. I think I may have found a spot where I can camp. This is a bit close to a path, but I'm gonna walk in a little bit further and see if I can find a, a better spot. You know, I get a lot of people say to me, why'd you do this? Why do you go out on your own and camp in the middle of the woods or in the Lake District or wherever? Well, it's more than just having a bit of me time, but it's the whole experience that comes with it. That comes from prepping your bag, working out what you need, trying to find somewhere to actually camp, seeing views like this, the adventure of traipsing through the forest and trying to find a, a good location which at the moment I'm finding that Delamere is proving tricky. It's not like the fells, you can't just pitch up wherever pretty much. You need to find a real suitable location. And I must admit, I'm glad I'm not bringing a tent because this, this, that's just no good to be pitching up on. But then it's like this, finding suitable trees to actually hang the hammock the right distance apart, the right thickness, making sure there's nothing above you that can fall down, making sure that the floor is suitable. I still need to put another tarp on the floor, you know, to, to put some of my pack and, and, and sit and cook. But why do I do it? Why do people do a lot of things? Why do snowboarders snowboard? 
why do motocross cyclists <coughs> ride motocross? You find something you love and you put everything into it. And a lot of people, I think, are missing that. And that's probably why they asked me that question. Why do you do it? Well, you just haven't found the thing that you love to do. You haven't found the thing that people start asking you why you do it. Maybe that's just what you need to do, is find something that you love and enjoy. I know I have. I feel a lot better for it as well. Anxiety and stress levels are massively reduced and it's all thanks to Mother Earth. I mean, what have you got to lose? If you're new to being outdoors or you already do it and you already camp and trek and hike, then you know what I'm talking about, why you enjoy it. But like I say, if you're, if you're new to this and you're wondering whether you should do it, 100%, just go for it. It doesn't take a lot of kit. There are some essentials. I'll probably cover the essentials that I think you would need in another video. But you don't need to go out and buy all the top of the range gear. You can do it with some real value equipment that actually probably withhold their own up against some of the bigger brands and some of the more expensive kit. But you can do it for a lot less. Uh, you're only here once, just do it. I think I may have found home for the night. Nice little secluded spot. Not too bad. Tire from that tree to one of those trees. We'll soon find out when we. But this is the best spot I've found so far that's far away enough from people not to be disturbed and for me to not disturb them. Hmm, let's give it a go. So there we have it then you guys. The hammock is up. The tarp's up. Bottom tarp's down. Peaceful. I'll be honest, I found this harder to put up than I thought I would. I think it was just because it was a lot of messing around. I had to cut new um, cord for the tarp, for the ridge line. But I think I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a real nice, comfortable night's sleep though. Absolute savers today. is some valuable bits of kit which is this the mora this is the carbon steel one super super sharp fantastic knife and i think it was like less than a tenner so much value in that it's unbelievable now i know that that's not super tight I think next time I need to can you see I need to find trees further apart and pull this tighter. Um, but this this is the other thing that is amazing stuff. Highly recommend you get some of this. This is 550 paracord. I can't even remember where I got it from. I think it was Amazon for about again about a tenner. I think it was so cheap. But really super strong. Uh, and I've got loads of it as well. Really, really useful stuff. And I'm very, very thankful that I used my noggin and actually uh, I packed some spare pegs because um, I've actually got one, two, six, six cords um, on each of these points, pulling the tarp down. Uh, so I had enough pegs for that and enough to peg down the ground sheet as well so yeah ideal I'm knackered now <laughs> so I'm just gonna just have a, a cup of coffee and something to eat and then I'm going to explain uh, 
one of the reasons why I'm out here and and a little bit of information about what this channel is supposed to be or what I want it to be because I haven't done that yet so yeah let me fill up first I'm starving I need to eat first okay slight change of plan I'm going to have my coffee but I'm going to have my food after I've done this short part of the video um, the reason being is the light's starting to go down and uh, being under here you don't have much light anyway so I want to do this first so one of the reasons as I said were, were to come out here um, were a couple of reasons really one to test out this new uh, hammock the the DD Frontline XL hammock not tried it out yet so I had a bit of difficulty putting it up but it seems to have gone up okay We'll test it out. Hopefully I don't land on the floor through the night. Um, I could sit here and do a review for you of how it's gone up, etc. But honestly, there are hundreds of reviews on YouTube already about this hammock. Um, it's rated one of the best. There's a reason for that. You know, it's a very, very good hammock. So I won't be doing a full review on it. Just, just not necessary. This is my first time hammock camping, so this is going to be interesting. So I'm finally branching off into, into that realm. Um, and I'm doing it here again solo, uh, a bit closer to home in Delamere Forest. Also, in relation to my first video that I'd done about wild camping for anxiety, I got a lot of incredibly good feedback from that video. And a lot of people actually opened up and messaged me privately, because um, I've, I've mentioned it on Facebook and Instagram as well about how they're struggling and they found the video very useful and it was allowed them to, to open up as well um, which which was, which was amazing and I wanted to come out again now my anxiety levels have been all right recently they've, they've not been too bad um, yes I've been a bit stressed so I have decided to come out um, just as sort of one last wild camp on my own because I'm going away to Shell Island next week with the, with the family so it's a completely different whole type of camping I've, as much as I love being with my family sometimes you do need to escape a little bit and just get away on your own which is why I'm doing this so stress, stress levels are good but I still wanted to come out uh, one to kind of address that point of thank you very much for the feedback I think it's been it's been fantastic it's been a, a motivational driver for me to continue doing these videos um, and for anyone that, that's out there watching or listening if you are struggling and if you're having um, real, real bad time with anxiety or stress or depression and you, you feel like you can talk to me, feel free. You know, I'm, I'm always open to messages. I may not always have the right answer for you. My way of coping with it and, and dealing with uh, different daily anxieties will be different to how you need to deal with it. Um, I do recommend that the outdoors is a much better medicine than taking a tablet. I feel taking pills from the doctor will, will ultimately turn you into a zombie. I mean, I've I've taken them before, antidepressants and all sorts of things to kind of calm myself down. And what they did was they made me a lot more distant. Uh, I I was almost like a walking empty shell of myself. Now, if you've taken some of these tablets, and you may be able to relate to that, you know you 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 know that you feel distant yourself and you kind of know that it's tab the tablets that's doing it but you've got to take your doctor's advice and i and i appreciate that and and you and you kind of go along with okay the doctor's recommended these tablets i need to continue taking them that's not always the case though if you are feeling worse by taking these tablets go back to your gp and just say to them look this this isn't helping this isn't working and they'd look to maybe find an alternative for you or do what I do and get outside and, and use that as your medicine instead because I find this a much much more therapeutic way of dealing with my anxiety okay and the second point that I wanted to make um, was what the purpose of my channel is um, I recently put out on my Facebook and Instagram kind of why I want to grow my social media channels and it's the same for YouTube as well 
I'm I'm sick of seeing the the ball that that is out there on social media on a daily basis. Excuse my French there, but I really am. I'm fed up with it. There's so much negativity going on, trolling. There's just no need for it. Social media is an effective tool for for pushing a, a positive message and motivating change in people. And that's what I want to do. That's why I'm I'm doing these videos and I'm I'm publishing posts more regularly on my social media because I want to inject a bit more positivity in people's feeds again. I also want to address the issues around mental health more. I want people to open up about it a little bit more. I think we are getting to that point now. I think people are talking about it a lot more than people used to. And men especially as well, I think, are, are opening up about their mental health a lot more. And I want, I want that to continue. And this is what these videos are about, is, is how I deal with it. Um, and as an opportunity for you to open up about your own mental health problems. Sorry, a bit out of focus then. But also, uh, like I said, to inject a bit more positivity back into social media, get rid of all the bull crap, and just continue to, to highlight um, happy, positive messages they are now the type of content i've been thinking about this about what type of content i want to push out now over the last couple of videos you'll see that i've done sort of solo camping for, for uh, solo wild camping story for anxiety that's fine um, but i've done things with my kids as well now i am going to be running sort of two different types of content here so there's going to be a something for everyone hopefully um it is going to be around adventures mini adventures outdoor activities so if you are into that and i know a lot of other youtubers do this and i do apologize but it does help so if you do like the videos and you want to continue watching them hit the subscribe button hit the like button as well the more likes and views that the videos get the more they'll be able to be shared youtube's algorithm will will push them further allowing more people to watch them and like i said it's all for a positive thing here i'm not trying to reach some form of celebrity status i'm just trying to offer good quality content whilst pushing a, a positive message so the two different types of content there will be there will be this wild camping solo adventure style the geese are going um and that i think will i will aim more towards the adult okay so if if, if you want to do that or maybe teen um and then the second type as well is for the younger ones i want to incorporate some of the things that my children do um, and some of the mini adventures and outdoor activities that we can do together and little things that you may not have thought of that you can do with your own kids or if you are a kid and you're interested in the outdoors and you want to do a little bit more i want to do some more fun stuff around that as well and the reason being is because i think it's important for kids to get out of the bedroom away from the xbox away from the playstation and into the outdoors there's so many life skills that you can learn outside of your house rather than indoors stuck on a games console uh, my son who you see in the previous video connor he went down this path of constantly stuck in his room on his on his games consoles and it, it lasted only for so long before i said enough is enough we're getting him out so that's why i'm bringing him along to more camping um and bringing him along to more wild camps uh, and little adventures out to get him away from that i mean it's you know we can't get away from it. Games consoles are here. People do enjoy them. That's fine. Uh, YouTube, obviously, and social media are platforms that kids do use now and they can learn from, which is fantastic. And I don't I don't think you should stop learning from channels such as YouTube. And there's plenty of YouTubers out there offering great advice. So that's fine. But I think there's there's a balance when to turn off when to get outside and a lot of the kids i think will think that there's nothing to do outside of their home there's loads of things to do and that's the kind of thing that i want to be offering in terms of content for children is what you can do outside 
and showing that my kids enjoy it as well. So hopefully you can enjoy both sets, the adult and the kids uh, content. If not, that's that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit for everyone, um, but still focusing it around adventures and outdoor activities. So I've rambled enough now. Okay, I just kind of wanted to explain uh, the, the kind of things that you can see coming up uh, and also one of the reasons why or the reasons why I've come out today. So I'm going to continue enjoying my coffee, going to have some food and I think I'm actually going to switch off now for tonight because I just want to just chill and rest and just enjoy my hammock camping. But what I would say is if you're not outdoors, what are you doing? Good morning. Well, that was a nice wet night, but the tarp held up well, the hammock held up well, the rain kept me awake a bit, but I'm dry. That's the important thing. A little bit cold, so I need to invest in an underquilt. But other than that, I'm all right. So a nice cup of coffee now, warm myself up a little bit, pack up and head home. Oh. Oh boy, tired. You can see the water dripping down the tarp. Now I thought I was in the middle of nowhere here. Bizarrely, I had somebody walk past with a dog. Not that secluded then. I really need a coffee though. I need to warm up a bit. Uh, unfortunately, my bag, which was up on the tree, under the tarp, the tarp had pulled back slightly, my bag is wet. Luckily, I took all the essential kit out, and that was in the hammock with me, so at least that stuff's dry. Hey-ho, lesson learnt. It's amazing what a good cup of coffee can do for you in the morning. It can really set you up for a good day. Well, I think so anyway. Now, yesterday I said about how people think I'm a little bit crazy for doing stuff like this. Now, you may call me mad for wanting to come out to the woods on your own and camp, but I call you mad for not wanting to wake up to this. Anyway, gonna pack up now, I feel ready, gonna get my kit together and head home. So that's the end of another adventure, a little wild camp in Delamere. Thoroughly enjoyed this one, hope you have too. And if you've got any suggestions or ideas on types of videos that you would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. I try and, uh, I try and create a, a video from whatever suggestions you make. Until then guys. See you.